Protests follow Donald Trump to Mar-a-Lago but supporters show up to defend the president, as demonstrators rally across the country for the third weekend in a row. Protests followed Donald Trump to Florida on Saturday, as he visited the state for a glamorous weekend at his Mar-a-Lago resort. Demonstrators marched in West Palm Beach, holding signs with messages such as no ban, no wall, we are all migrants and no hate, no fear, immigrants are welcome here. Pro-Trump supporters, meanwhile, gathered in the Florida city as well, with Make America Great Again flags and Trump and 16 t-shirts. The slogans echoed that of protesters across the country, who continued to rally on Saturday as the backlash against President Trump's travel ban grew. Demonstrations have been going for the eight days since he signed the travel ban barring immigrants from seven countries from migrating to the U.S. Federal Judge James Robart issued a ruling on Friday that temporarily halted Trump's order banning travelers and immigrants from seven Muslim-majority countries. Though the U.S. State Department has reversed the cancellations of visas for foreigners, there were still many protests against the ban Saturday. Trump has given no indication that he will ease up on the restrictions for many residents and had criticized the judge. Thousands turned out to protests in cities such as New York, Los Angeles, Boulder, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Chicago and Owensboro, Kentucky. Los Angeles International Airport is expecting hundreds of protesters later today and many have started to trickle in. In New York City, there is a LGBT solidarity rally at Stonewall and to protest the commander and chief. The protest started at 2 p.m. and hash we resist was trending in New York City by 2.30 p.m. Protesters also turned out in Chicago to protest the Dakota Access Pipeline. Trump signed an executive order to continue construction on the pipeline that was previously halted because of protesters. Next Sunday there is a Facebook event to Moon Trump Tower with more than 2,000 people saying they will attend. Last night protesters took to a wall near the Washington Monument to write messages of resistance to Trump. This morning, people in Washington, D.C., gathered outside of the White House. It isn't just the coastal cities that are continuing to resist. Today there were marches in Boulder, Kentucky, and Philadelphia. On Twitter, Trump is resisting against those resisting. Yesterday he tweeted, Professional anarchists, thugs and paid protesters are proving the point of the millions of people who voted to make America great again, great again.